you're still starting to see some some winter hanging on, but you're trying to move forward. It's certainly a lot greener, and we've got a lot more color across the area. These are the, the Bradford pears out here in front of WBZ. They smell a little funny, but they look nice in the spring. Here's a look at the big surface picture, our surface map for tonight. And we've got that storm system, that buried main, still spinning off to the north and east. And around it, a couple of scattered rain and snow showers this evening. But high pressure is building in from the west, and that's going to deliver a drier weekend and some moderating temperatures eventually to go along with it. There you see one last little streak of a couple of sprinkles and flurries making its way down through central Mass. You might see a snowflake or two. They've been on or off today. And then down toward the Uxbridge area. And into northern Rhode Island, you might see a couple of raindrops reaching the ground. But temperatures are in the upper 30s to around 40. They're not going to fall off too much more as the night progresses. Around sunrise tomorrow, low to mid 30s for most of the area and upper 30s out toward Cape Cod. So a chilly morning, but tomorrow brings on a brighter day for much of the area. We'll have a sunny start and then a mix of sun and clouds for the midday and the afternoon. You're still going to notice a breeze, but it won't be anything like what we had out there for the day today. And overall, high pressure will dominate the weekend. Winds go calm tomorrow night. That's going to give us a cold morning on Easter, but the wind goes southwest and then we have a milder afternoon. The next storm system doesn't arrive here until we head toward Monday morning of next week. So as for the wind speeds tomorrow, some gusts at times over 20 miles per hour, but nothing too aggressive out there. They'll be out of the west. It goes calm during the overnight hours, so a very calm Easter Sunday sunrise. And then as we head toward the afternoon, you will notice the breeze pick up out of the southwest, especially if you're along the south coast and the Cape. Saturday's highs, low 50s for eastern Mass, staying in the 40s for central Massachusetts and southern New Hampshire. Really just all about the sun this time of the year. That sun angle is high, it's much stronger, and if you've got it on your side, it feels pretty pleasant to be outdoors. Now, on Easter Sunday, a frosty morning. I think we'll see some upper 20s to low 30s out there. Been getting the question about gardening, and I wouldn't dip into the summer annuals just yet. Make sure it's hardy if you're putting it outside like uh, pansies that can take the cold. And then as we head toward the afternoon, partly sunny conditions, mid to upper 50s expected on Sunday. We may have a shot at hitting 60 in a couple towns if we can get enough sun, low to mid 50s on the south coast. So overall, a pretty pleasant day. Monday, powerful storm system is going to head up into the Great Lakes. We're actually going to get a snowstorm in the upper Midwest. For us, we'll be tracking rainfall, scattered downpours, and probably some thunderstorms as we head into the afternoon. Some gusty south winds are going to come along with it, and that'll boost our temperatures up to around 60 degrees. But it's a stormy start to the week. Behind it, we've got some sunshine and some seasonable air on Tuesday. And then the question at midweek is, will that front get far enough offshore to keep us dry on Wednesday? Or will a wave around that front bring us a chance for some scattered rain or even some wet snowflakes? That'll be something to watch for the middle of the week. But overall, there's pretty good confidence. It'll be a cooler than average pattern here in the east as we look toward the middle and end of next week. A couple days in the 40s, Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe even into Friday. We can't just shake the chilly air just yet, but we'll get there eventually. I promise you that. Lisa, back to you. Eric, clarification. So pansies are tough as flowers go? <laughs> In uh, the flower world, yes, absolutely. They can hold up to the cold. How about that? Who knew? Eric, thank you so much. <laughs>